Have you ever wondered who the most ruthless kings of the medieval period were? Picture a time when castles towered, knights jousted, and monarchs ruled with iron fists. This was the medieval period, a time of ruthless kings whose reigns were marked by conquests, betrayals, and bloodshed. From the foggy shores of England to the sunlit vineyards of France, these monarchs left an indelible mark on history. So, fasten your seatbelts as we take you back in time to meet these ruthlessly fascinating monarchs. First on our list is William the Conqueror, the first Norman King of England. Born into a world of strife and chaos, this ambitious Duke of Normandy had his sights set on the English throne, and he wasn't one to let anything stand in his way. His conquest of England was nothing short of brutal. A prime example of his ruthlessness was the harrying of the North, a campaign of scorched earth tactics. He destroyed entire villages, crops, and livestock, leaving the people to starve, all to quell any rebellious sentiments. It was a horrifying display of power, one that cemented his rule and left a lasting scar on the land. His reign was marked by oppressive laws and heavy taxation, demonstrating his iron-fisted approach to governance. A king who knew no bounds when it came to securing his rule, that was William the Conqueror. Next, we have Richard the Lionheart, the king known for his heart of a lion and a will of steel. Richard I of England, popularly known as Richard the Lionheart, reigned from 1189 to 1199. He was a knight's knight, a warrior king whose fame resonated throughout the Middle Ages. Richard was renowned for his military prowess, but his true infamy lies in his relentless pursuit of the Holy Land during the Third Crusade. His brutal tactics and unyielding determination painted a picture of a king who would stop at nothing to achieve his objectives. He was infamous for his ruthlessness, often employing extreme violence and savagery to subdue his enemies. From the sands of the Middle East to the green meadows of England, Richard's reign was characterized by a singular focus on warfare, often at the expense of his subjects. His legacy, however, is one of a king whose bravery was as much a part of his identity as his ruthlessness. Richard the Lionheart, a king whose ruthlessness was as legendary as his bravery. Moving forward, we encounter King John, a king infamous for his cruel and tyrannical rule. Ascending to the throne in the 12th century, King John's reign was marked by constant strife, particularly with his own barons. Frustrated by his arbitrary rule and harsh taxation policies, the barons revolted, leading to a significant event in the annals of history, the signing of the Magna Carta. This document, a symbol of rebellion against tyranny, was a direct result of King John's oppressive rule. However, it wasn't just political conflicts that characterized his reign. King John was notorious for his harsh taxation policies. He imposed heavy taxes on his subjects, often without any valid reason, leading to widespread discontent and resentment. His rule was so brutal and despotic that it led to a revolution, changing the course of English history forever. King John, a monarch whose ruthlessness led to a revolution of sorts. Next on our list is Edward Longshanks, the Hammer of the Scots. Edward ascended the English throne in the year 1272, already with a reputation for his towering stature and military prowess. His reign was marked by relentless warfare, particularly in Scotland and Wales. He sought to establish English dominance over these lands, and his brutal campaigns earned him the nickname the Hammer of the Scots. In Wales, Edward constructed a series of imposing stone castles, symbols of his iron grip on the conquered lands. In Scotland, his ruthless tactics sparked a fierce resistance, leading to the legendary battles of William Wallace and Robert the Bruce. Edward's rule was characterized by a brutal determination to suppress any opposition to his authority. His reign, while marred by bloodshed and conflict, left an indelible mark on British history. The legacy of Edward Longshanks, a king who hammered his way through history with sheer ruthlessness, continues to echo through the ages. Crossing the Channel, we find Louis the Thekens of France, known as the Universal Spider. This moniker was not for naught, as Louis was a master of manipulation. He spun intricate webs of deceit and treachery, entrapping anyone who dared to oppose him. He ruled France from 1461 to 1483, and his reign was marked by constant conflict with the nobles. The Universal Spider was not one to back down, however. 
He used his cunning and intelligence to outmaneuver his adversaries, often turning them against each other. But Louis's most potent weapon was his network of spies. These unseen eyes and ears were scattered across his kingdom, always watching, always listening. They were the threads of his web, providing him with the information he needed to maintain his iron grip on the throne. Louis the Theft, a king whose web of ruthlessness spread far and wide. Stepping into Eastern Europe, we meet Vlad III, the inspiration for Dracula. Known as Vlad the Impaler, his rule in Wallachia was marked by a penchant for the macabre. He earned his gruesome nickname from his preferred method of execution, impalement. It was a slow and torturous death, one that Vlad seemed to take pleasure in. He would host banquets amidst the forest of impaled victims, a chilling testament to his reign of terror. But Vlad wasn't just ruthless in his punishments. He was also a fierce warrior, constantly embroiled in bloody battles against the Ottomans. Despite his smaller forces, Vlad's strategic mind and brutal tactics kept the Ottoman Empire at bay. He was a king who led from the front, but his legacy is forever marred by his sadistic cruelty. Vlad III, a king whose ruthlessness was the stuff of nightmares. Heading north, we encounter Ivan the Terrible, the first Tsar of Russia. Ivan's reign was marked by a deep sense of dread and oppression that hung over the land like a dark cloud. His reign was anything but gentle. Ivan's regime was characterized by the establishment of the Oprichnina, a policy that granted him absolute power. This policy divided the land and its people, setting the stage for a brutal reign of terror, where anyone could be accused of treason and executed without trial. Ivan's fear of betrayal ran deep, leading to paranoia-induced killings. These were not isolated incidents, but a widespread practice that saw many of his closest advisors, friends, and even family members fall victim to his fear and suspicion. His rule left a lasting mark on Russia and its people, a chilling reminder of the lengths a king can go to maintain his grip on power. Ivan the Terrible, a king whose name says it all. Back in England, we find Henry VIII, the king with six wives. A fascinating figure, Henry VIII's reign was marked by his relentless quest for a male heir. To secure his lineage, he married no less than six times, his matrimonial adventures becoming as legendary as his rule. Henry's pursuit of an heir was so relentless that it led to a seismic shift in England's religious landscape. Unhappy with the Pope's refusal to annul his first marriage, Henry broke away from the Catholic Church, establishing the Church of England and placing himself at its helm. This monumental shift, known as the English Reformation, forever changed the face of Christianity in the country. But Henry's ruthlessness didn't stop at religious reformation. His marriages were marked with tragedy and terror. Two of his wives, Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard, were beheaded on charges of adultery and treason. Whether these accusations were true or merely the machinations of a king desperate for a male heir has been the subject of debate for centuries. Henry's rule was marked by drastic changes, both personal and political. His actions were driven by a ruthless ambition to secure his lineage and solidify his power. The echoes of his decisions can still be felt in England today, in the very fabric of its religious and political structure. Henry VIII, a king whose ruthlessness was as infamous as his marital issues. These were some of the most ruthless kings of the medieval period. Each of them, in their own way, left an indelible mark on history. William the Conqueror ruthlessly established a new order in England. Richard the Lionheart, despite his name, was more known for his ruthless military campaigns than for his bravery. King John's reign was characterized by his ruthless tactics to maintain power. Edward Longshanks earned his ruthless reputation by suppressing the Scots. Louis the Eth of France, Vlad the Third, Ivan the Terrible, and Henry the Eighth were all ruthless in their own right implementing policies that often sparked fear and oppression among their subjects. These kings left behind a legacy that is steeped in ruthlessness and power. Their stories serve as glimpses into a time when might made right, and ruthlessness was often seen as a necessary trait for survival. In the ruthless game of thrones of the medieval period, these kings played to win, no matter the cost. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey.